Hey, look who got a haircut finally. Yep. Good old Cody. Alright, not much to talk about this week. But I thought I'd do a vlog anyway. Catch everyone up on what's going on. Something that's really cool that's happening right now is since June 30th, I hit uh, 500 subscribers. And going on, I think I'm, uh, while I'm filming this, it's at 596. So that means if we can get, if I can get, six, you know, the to 600 before July 30th, I will have gotten 100 subscribers in a month. That is freaking amazing. I thank anyone who's subscribed to me and continue to be subscribed to me through thick and thin. It's uh, just I'm honored. It's uh, it's something that I take as you know, kind of a badge of honor and. Uh, it, it means the world to me. It really makes me happy. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a goal I never thought I'd reach here on YouTube. So, uh, thank you all who uh, helped me out with that. That's amazing. That's, I mean, I'm lost for words. There was a oompa loompa on my shoulder. Told me change was coming when I was older. Never gonna listen to his lies. Alright, so I tried to film me doing something stupid because I got tagged by no I am me and I I tried to uh, disrupt a wasp nest and uh, get them to sting me and it wasn't happening they left me alone they watched as I killed their larvae they just watched and like oh well we'll start again it's alright pal just keep on squishing our you know offspring and tormenting us and swatting around at us, we'll just leave you be. You probably did it for the right reasons. You know, it was just, it was a weird situation because every time that you want a wasp not to sting you, they sting you. But when you want them to sting you, they leave you the hell alone. Maybe it's like this, this chemical reaction your body has. And they're like, oh, he wants us to sting him. I can smell it. You're not getting it, fatty. Not today. I got some ideas. I might see if they pan out. I don't want to hurt myself too bad to where I can't continue working. But I want to make it entertaining. So it's it's a tight rope, people. It's it's walking that line. I've been uh, we've been redoing our room, uh, moving a lot of stuff around. As you can see, this is kind of a different background than you're used to. There's Daniel. A lot of screens, a lot of different screens. Uh, it's really working out. I really like it. It's really open, and when we get done, it should look good. Uh, but I came across something while I was moving crap around. My brother's uh, Game Boy Pocket. And it's funny. It just reminded me how he was back then. He thought if he thought the Game Boys in general, that Nintendo just ripped you off by making them to where you couldn't get the Game Boy Advance games in them, so that way you couldn't play them. So he took it and modified it cut that hole back out you see that's not supposed to be like that that's jagged edge and uh, of course it didn't work because it's just not the same because you had a Game Boy Advance and I didn't yeah I know but you got one you never played it but I thought that was funny he also did a good job of taking off the screen because it was all scratched up and it, yeah, it works Nintendo it's dusty Donkey Kong. Yep. But that's, I thought, that's funny. Alright, so, channel of the week this week, it's a bit of a nepotism thing here, is uh, I'm electing Daniel's cam. Danny's cam. Daniel's cam. I used to call him Daniel. As the channel of the week. Um, he did some Yahoo Answers videos that I really enjoyed. Uh, they're better than most of his stuff, I thought. He usually does. They're really entertaining. I want you to check them out in the sidebar. Um, really cool stuff. It's just him reading the bizarrest, weirdest, funniest Yahoo answers we could find together. And, you know, it's just he does the voices of what he thought the characters would sound like if they were actually talking. And, you know, some of them are troll jobs, but some of them I think are serious. And those are the best ones. When you can find the ones that where you think oh someone actually feels this way about something or believes this or believes that you can just you just crack up just thinking about it he did one about this woman who wanted a midget baby 
it's just hilarious. It's oh, it's just check it out though. Check it out. Uh, Danny's cam, my brother, my dear old brother. Really, really funny stuff. And if you have any ones that you think are really entertaining, send them in. But got to be really funny, really top notch. You know. What we've been doing is we've been trying to think of funny words to put in there to get funny results, and uh, we had a good time with midget, and I put sue, like you're going to sue someone in there a lot. Oh, I got some bizarros out there. Uh, I had a citation for, uh, I used to do, I, I, I tested the waters for my Ultimate Fighter recaps with doing animation domination recaps for just two episodes, two you know runs of it, and you know, just to see how quick they were to censor you or whatever and the funny part is all my ultimate fighter recaps are still up there uh, containing footage but my uh, my animation domination thing Fox was fast on that and I had a citation for a long time and I always hear three strikes you're out on YouTube with the citations but today uh, recently I don't know if it was today uh, it's gone I don't know I, I, do those expire after a while when you get a fresh start or do they still remember that but they just take it off your page. Everything says I'm in good standing, no citations. So I thought that was interesting. And you know, anytime when you get news from the inside, because a lot of the stuff is out in the open and you don't know how they're thinking or what they're doing. And I always try to share information about, oh, YouTube did this and did that, you know, just to put it out there and get a good con you know, conversation talking about it so we know, we can figure out where we stand with everything. But uh, that's pretty cool. I know uh, Magic ADD ran into a problem with them recently. He was doing uh, one of the wrestling shows recaps where he uses no footage at all, just his opinion. He just talks about the fights, each fight, does his opinion, that's it. And they called him down for that. And that is stupid. That is stupid. You can't talk about another, something you saw on TV. How, how is, you can't do that. You can't, and it wasn't like he was spoiling any fights. It was right after the fights happened. So you can't even use that lame excuse. So that was, that's bullshit. Hopefully they clear that up and he's found to be right like he is right. This week, uh, Harry Patch died. If you don't know who Harry Patch is, he was the last surviving British soldier from War, World War I. And uh, it was it's sad to see someone like that go. But also someone who was uh, so on top of things, still very, uh, e you know, you can listen, hear him and everything very clearly. It wasn't really that hard he was still real sharp and everything he didn't tell anything about the war until he hit a hundred and that's when he started talking about uh, the experiences and trials and tribulations he went through on the front line and it's a real good read I'm gonna put it to the sidebar he has a few it's just almost like a few paragraphs of different subjects I went through a bunch of them and read them I really liked them I thought you would like them too and he put some really really good commentary out there so that's worth checking out if you have some time and want to read around about some real history from the you know from the sight and the ears of someone who lived through it that's a rare chance you get to do that and, you know most of it's from people who never fought in the lines and never saw anything and just write what they hear secondhand stuff this is from the horse's mouth so definitely worth to check it out died at 111 great man all right that's all i got bye bye my babies you sexy little babies with your diapers and noises and constant changing yeah later